How's it going, Jeremiah? This is the Yamaha PSS A50. I've had this for about a week and a half. I've been playing around with it and I'm gonna do a quick review about this keyboard so that you can decide if it is suitable for you. This is a really interesting keyboard because it moves away from the usual auto accompaniment using styles to play chords kind of concept for the Yamaha PSR keyboards. But it is a little awkward in its market positioning and you are gonna find out why in this video. So this PSS A50 has 37 mini keys and these keys feel like they come from the Yamaha Reface which is a good thing because it's extremely high quality and Yamaha wants you to know this. That's why on their spec sheet they say that this is 37 high quality mini keys. And I think the strategy here is to have economies of scale. So not only they have it on their Reface line of mini keys, keyboards, but they are also using this same keybed for the PSS E30 as well as the PSS F30 which is the mini keys version of the PSR F51. This keyboard is priced around US $100 and it is made in India. It comes with 32 notes of polyphony as well as 40 voices and two drum kits. The voices are pretty decent and you can have a listen right here.
This keyboard doesn't have a single style built inside it. Instead, what it has is 128 arpeggiator patterns which you can use for both the voices as well as the drum kits. Let's take a very quick look at the functions found on the Yamaha PSS A50. On this side here, we've got the power button and we've got the master volume. And here we have an octave shift button, as you can see here. The octave goes up. And if you press both together, you will default back to zero. Here we have the voices. 40 of these voices, two of them are the drum patterns and we have a phrase recorder which I will show you later on as well. We have a panel sustain button here so that you don't have to use a sustain pedal and there's also a portamento feature that you can turn on and off using the shift button over here. So if you press shift and press this, it will show you portamento is on or portamento is off. And here we have a different variety of arpeggio patterns, 138 of them over here, and you can select them using plus and minus. So what's unique about this is that whenever you choose a voice, for example, you choose a piano voice, it will automatically select an appropriate arpeggiator for you based on that voice. So you realize that I didn't change any arpeggiators, but the minute I change a piano voice, it would choose a suitable arpeggio for this. You can either tap the tempo or use the plus and minus button while holding the tempo button to adjust the tempo of the arpeggiators. Here we have the arpeggiator hold feature. It will hold on to the exact same chord as you are playing. And you can play over it without affecting the arpeggiators. And the portamento feature here is useful when you're playing your lead song. There are a whole bunch of motion effects here where you can use it to affect your filters, your pitch and your modulation and they are grouped in three groups. So if you press the shift button, you can change the type of motion effect you want to apply. Those from group B. And it's only applied when the button is held on. So when you let it go, the effect is no longer applied. Due to its size, you are not going to get a pair of stereo speakers. What you get instead is a single mono speakers. It is not exactly very powerful. It's about 1.4 watts in power. It's not going to be loud enough for a room, but for personal playing, it will be sufficient. I was expecting this keyboard to come with a couple more useful ports that is expected to be standard these days. Things like an audio in and it is not found in here. A connection for an external sustain pedal that is also not found in here. What I am also disappointed is that the headphones jack and the audio out is a single jack and you cannot have both the headphones and audio out at the same time unless you use a splitter cable. And the Yamaha PSS A50 comes with a micro USB port that you can use your power bank or your USB adapter to power this keyboard. In addition, this same jack can be used as a USB MIDI port. I was expecting that there be two different USB ports so that one can be used for MIDI and the other one can be used to supply power. But you know, due to the cost and the size of this instrument, there is only one micro USB port. You can also choose to run this off for AA batteries if you choose to. What I also like about this keyboard is that it is extremely lightweight and weighs just slightly more than one kilo and it's really easy to just slip into your backpack to carry around. 
in terms of recording, you are just limited to one single phrase recording and you're not going to get anything more than that. That can be a deal breaker for many of the guys out there who just want to make more complex songs and pieces using this keyboard. However, with a little bit of creativity, you can use the phrase recorder as well as the arpeggiator hole to create up to three tracks of instruments playing at the same time. Now let's try and use the phrase recording feature here, including the arpeggiator hole to try and create a three instrument composition of sorts. Okay, once you've done that, we will turn on the drums. And then choose another instrument. So that's a very basic example of how you can create a tree track. I think many people will buy this to use as a MIDI controller. I mean, it is decent. It's got a great key bed and it also has these onboard sounds and the onboard arpeggiators as well as a built-in speakers. But as a full-fledged MIDI controller, it is going to be lacking because it hasn't got stuff like your modulation wheel or your pitch band wheel. In addition, things like sliders as knobs for controlling your VSTs and your instruments on your DAW is just simply not available on this keyboard. But you can tell that Yamaha has gone for a more MIDI-centric feature on this keyboard because you can see that the program changes as well as the MIDI channel changes are clearly written above the keybed for changing and switching around those features and functions. And because this keyboard only has the ability to record one single phrase at a time, I am just surprised that Yamaha didn't throw in the Cubase 10 AI software, which already comes free with many of Yamaha and Steinberg products if you were to buy a very basic audio interface for 100 odd dollars you will also get this DAW software the Cubase 10 AI included in but you don't get this with this keyboard and I'm just wondering why because it would be so much more powerful and much easier to market this as a MIDI controller I think this Yamaha PSS A50 is tremendous value for money for about US hundred dollars it is really well built and has a lot of good quality features it really just need one single thing to make it shine really really well and i think the inclusion of a cubase 10 ai software a daw package with this keyboard will really make it a runaway success i hope you guys enjoyed this review and you found the information in here useful in your purchasing choice and i'll see you in the next one bye bye